Last year I set up an experiment painting OSB using a variety of methods, primers and top coats. Well, I think it's about time we went back to it, had a look and see what the results are. Well, hello again and welcome back to my channel. Now, part two of this experiment has been brought forward a little bit due to popular demand. I have had numerous correspondence from folk asking when am I going to release the conclusions of my painting OSB experiments. Now I think there's a couple of reasons for that. I think there isn't much information out there, certainly on YouTube, about painting OSB because if you put it in into the search you tend to just find my ugly mug and that's about it. But also I think OSB is becoming more popular in things like workshops, lying in the walls, maybe even studios, and people are wanting to paint it but are not 100% sure how to go about it. Now, I do have some conclusions from this experiment to share with you, and one or two surprises as well coming up with that, but what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna deal with the two extremes, no primer at all, and the most expensive primer that I had. Now, if you haven't watched part one of this experiment, I strongly recommend you go and see that before looking at the concluding results, and there will be a link to that video somewhere in one of these corners. Okay, just to quickly recap, I took a sheet of OSB and I primed it in four different ways. No primer, an oil-based primer, a Zinza 123 Bullseye, which is a water-based primer, and Zinza Bin, which is a shellac-based primer. And then I applied top coats of both masonry paint and emulsion paint. Now, the emulsion paint was Johnston's Bathroom, which might have worked slightly different to just a standard emulsion paint, but it was Johnston's Bathroom Pure Brilliant White that I used. And the masonry paint was Santex Ultra Smooth Masonry. And then I also applied those coats with an unsanded piece of OSB and a sanded piece of OSB. So we've got in total 16 different uh, blocks to look at. Now the easiest one to look at and to give you some feedback on is the unprimed OSB. So without applying any primer, both sand, uh, unsanded and sanded with emulsion and with Santex Ultra Smooth Masonry Paint. And the conclusion of that is don't do it. Now it's difficult for the camera to pick these up, but I am looking at here, this is the emulsion with no primer, and I can see yellow in here, 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 and on the sanded bit, there's a huge bit there, 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 and there. And if I look at the actual masonry as well, which is unprimed, it's bleeding through here, 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 that in fact there's numerous places on both the sanded and the unsanded where we're getting bleed through and that's after approximately what's about five months or something it is now so my best advice to take from that is if you're just going to apply a coat of emulsion or a coat of masonry paint, you're just down the line creating more work for yourself because all you're getting is you're getting the resin uh, of the OSB bleeding through and that will continually happen. So you'll keep applying top coats and it will keep bleeding through. So you need to make sure you get it primed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from the what not to do and I'm going to take you to the Zinza bin and then we'll look at the Zinza 123 and the oil based primer last. So let's go over to the other side now. Okay, these four blocks here, we've got the Zinza Bin Primer, which is the shellac based primer, by far the most expensive on test here. And we've got unsanded tops, sanded tops, so this is emulsion, unsanded and sanded, and this is masonry, unsanded and sanded. Now ignore the little marks here, because that's where it's just been in storage in here. And it certainly is a case of what you pay for, you're getting the results, because there is no bleed through in any part of these four blocks, whether it be sanded or unsanded, emulsion or masonry, okay? It's got a lovely finish on both. If I was to choose between the two, the emulsion has gone on better. It's got a nicer finish to it. Whereas the masonry, it's got a little bit streaky. I painted it exactly the same way. If you go back to episode one, uh, part one, you will know. 
but it looks like the emulsion is a better finish, but I imagine the masonry would have a harder, more durable finish to it. So yeah, the Zins have been by far the most expensive, as I say, but by far the best overall in this experiment. So that leads us to the Zinza 123 and the oil-based primer. So let's cut to in the middle so I can show you those eight blocks and I'll show you the results from those. Right, I'm just gonna focus on these four blocks for a moment. These two here are the oil-based primer, which was Rustin's that I used with emulsion on top. And these two here are the Zinza 123, the water-based with emulsion on top as well. And the results are very good, okay? There's a nicer finish, obviously, on the prepped, the sanded, all right? And there's a little bit of bleed through on the unsanded here, all right, on the oil-based. And I can see a couple of little bits here. But on the actual sanded and pri um, oil-based primed and Zinza 123, both with emulsion, I'm just looking now, yeah, that's got a lovely finish on for either of them. Now, I've got a little bit more in the conclusion at the end, if you stick with me to the end, about if you're going to choose between one and the other, because a few uh, uh, parts of the experiment I might be able to explain in a bit more detail then. But yet, yeah, emulsion top with oil-based primer and with Zinza 123 water-based primer have both achieved very good results with a sanded prepped surface. So now let's have a look at the Zinza 123 masonry and the Rustin's oil-based primer masonry as well. Right, this is where the experiment got a little bit interesting because these two here are the Zinza 123 with the masonry, the Santex top, which is what I actually did in the workshop in the wall at the back there. And these two here are the oil-based Rustin's primer with the masonry with the Santex top. Now, it's failed on the method that I used. So there is bleed through here. This is on the unsanded bit, but with the sanded prep surface like I done, I'm starting to see yellow in here, 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 and here. Now this would come as a bit of, sh bit of a shock to me, to be honest, because then I went and checked my wall at the back and I'm starting to see evidence of a little bit of yellowing. It's only faint, but it is coming through. Now, I'm hopeful that an extra top coat of masonry paint on my wall should resolve it. However, it's not worked, and it's not worked as well in relation to the other ones on this wall. The oil-based primer with the masonry top is showing no issues at this stage. So I can't see any evidence of yellowing on any of the surface there. So that did create an interesting kind of variable really, because the Zinza 123 with the masonry has failed, whereas the, but the Zinza 123 with emulsion hasn't which is, I found, if anything, I thought the opposite would have been the case. Now, I'm going back to what I said before about the Johnston's brand that I used. It is a bathroom uh, emulsion, so whether there's some additional additives or something in there that have helped, I'm not sure. But I'm guessing that probably would be a better option than just getting a standard Dulux, you know, uh, emulsion or something. So, yeah, interesting to see. But there, there is definite evidence of the resin or the yellowing bleeding through with the Zinza 123 masonry top, but no evidence of that with the oil-based primer, uh, oil primer with the masonry top. So that's something for you to think about. Now, I have got a few conclusions, so I'm just gonna get myself back on the stool because there's some other bits and pieces from part one that I maybe didn't cover that I'll go into a little bit more detail before we wrap this one up. Right, folks, some really interesting conclusions to draw from this experiment, and I hope having done this it might be of some benefit to you in the future just to recap what i said before you have to put on some kind of primer because if you don't in a relatively short space of time you're going to get the yellowing coming through that resin bleeding through and you're just going to be constantly topping up the paint and it then becomes a false economy so what method do you go with what type of primer would you use and what top coat would you use now there's a couple of things i haven't touched upon 
either in part one or up to now. Things like timing and also ventilation. Now the oil based primer has come out really well in this because with the emulsion on the top and also with the masonry on the top there's been no evidence of any kind of bleed through and it's held up really well. However, when I applied this stuff and, and bearing in mind these are only small blocks, it absolutely stinks. It is, oh, the, it's so strong so you need really good ventilation if you're using an oil based primer and also if time is precious to you if you're on the clock it takes a very long time for that oil based primer to dry. The likelihood of you getting a top coat on in the same day I would say is very unlikely so you will probably have to prime it leave it for several hours if not a whole day to then go pack go back and then put the top coat on but there was no such issue with that with either the Zinza bin or the Zinza 123 bullseye so you've got the water based 123 the shellac based the Zinza bin that is dry within one to two hours during my experience with you then able to go at it with the top coat now with the Zinza 123 the masonry top coat has failed and Again, looking at my wall now, I have, can see some evidence, only very minor, of some yellowing bleed through. So I'm going to have to go back at that on those little patches. But there is no evidence of any bleed through on the Zinza 123 with the emulsion top. Again, whether that's the bathroom based stuff uh, that I used. And if you're going to go that way, I'd probably recommend that based on this. Um, or the Zinza bin emulsion or masonry was fantastic for both. But again, you are paying uh, you are paying a pretty price for that stuff, shall we say. So to conclude, here we go. If you've got the time, you've got the ventilation, or you've got them, you know, you've got the appropriate PPE, and the budget conscious, I'll probably say the oil-based primer with either emulsion or masonry on the top I would say go with emulsion if you're after just a nicer finish so you're doing it for like an art studio or something like that or go with masonry if you're doing it for like a workshop environment because it's always getting bumped and banged and I think the masonry will hold up better in that kind of environment if you've got the budget obviously the Zinza bins the one okay the Zinza bullseye if you're time constrained and you need to get it finished in a day the Zinza 123 Bullseye does work, which is cheaper than Zinza Bin, but I'd recommend it with an emulsion top, um, you know, like maybe a bathroom based one like I've used and not to use masonry because, you know, the evidence is there. OK, now there may be some variables that I've not thought of that might have contributed to that bleeding through, but they're literally next to each other. And there's clear evidence on the Zinza 123 masonry of the resin bleeding through, but on the emulsion there isn't okay so again I hope that is of some benefit to you folks it's certainly been an eye-opener for me doing that and I, as I said at the beginning there isn't much content out there on this kind of thing so if you've got any questions the comment sections there below or there's my details in the description if you want to get in touch um, as I say I'm an enthusiastic amateur I'm not a professional I'm sure people are going to point out mistakes that I've made or something I should have done different sorry about that and I'm sure there are okay so but let me know because it's always a learning process for me okay as ever everyone take care look after yourselves and I'll see you soon thanks for watching